dear students, welcome back to our online English school. Today you will practice listening and reading skills and you will learn about Kim's fantastic week. We will also revise the past simple tense, regular and irregular verbs. Are you ready? Let's start our lesson. Listen and watch. Now you will watch a video about Kim's fantastic week. While listening, please pay attention to the past simple tense. Dear diary, I had a fantastic week. My friend May came to my house for a holiday. We did lots of great things. On Monday, we went for a walk in the town. She liked the museum and the sports center. On Tuesday, we went to the seaside with Mum. We went for a swim in the sea. It was warm. After our swim, we had pizza and orange juice. It was delicious. The next day, we went for a drive in the countryside. We bought apples and eggs at a farm. Usually, I don't like drives in the countryside. But this one was fun. On Thursday, we went to the shopping centre. On Friday, we went for a bike ride to the waterfall. Yesterday, we were tired and we slept all day. Love, Kim. You will listen again to Kim's diary entry about having a fantastic week. After listening, you should decide if these statements are true or false. Now you have some time to read the statements. Let's listen. Dear diary, I had a fantastic week. My friend May came to my house for a holiday. We did lots of great things. On Monday, we went for a walk in the town. She liked the museum and the sports centre. On Tuesday, we went to the seaside with Mum. We went for a swim in the sea. It was warm. After our swim, we had pizza and orange juice. It was delicious. The next day, we went for a drive in the countryside. We bought apples and eggs at a farm. Usually, I don't like drives in the countryside. But this one was fun. On Thursday, we went to the shopping centre. On Friday, we went for a bike ride to the waterfall. Yesterday, we were tired and we slept all day. Love, Kim. Now, let's choose if these statements are true or false. First statement. On Monday, the girls went for a bike ride. How do you think? Is it true or false? Right. It is false. On Monday, the girls went for a walk in the town and they went to the museum. Next statement. May like the museum. Is it true or false? Right. It is true. Very good. Next statement. They went to the seaside with Mr. Brown. How do you think? Is it true or false? It is false. They went to the seaside with Kim's mom. They like they swim in the sea. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Very good. Next statement. They had burgers and orange juice after they swim. Is it true or false? It is false. They had pizza and orange juice 
after they swim. Next statement. Kim didn't like the drive in the countryside. Is it true or false? It is false. Kim says she usually doesn't like drives in the countryside, but this one was fun. Very good. Next statement. The girls went shopping on Thursday. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. On Thursday, they went to the shopping center. And last statement. The next day, they went for a bike ride to the park. Is it true or false? Right, it is false. Kim says that on Friday, they went for a bike ride to the waterfall. Now, let's check all the answers. Excellent! In this activity, you need to choose the right answer for each of the gaps. You will practice the past simple tense. Let's start. Dear diary, today we going or went for a drive in the countryside. Which word is right? Right, went. Today we went for a drive in the countryside. I don't always like drives because sometimes they are boring. I liked or liking this one. Which option is correct? I like this one. Very good. Next sentence. We go went to a farm. Right, you should choose the verb in the past simple tense. We went to a farm. The farm having or had a little shop. Right, the farm had. Next sentence. We could buy farm eggs and lots of vegetables. We getting or got some beans, peas, carrots and onions. Very good, we got. Then we went to a small village with a pretty park. We sitting or sat in the park. We sat in the park. It was a sunny day. When we go came home, when we came home, mom cooked or cooking delicious soup with the vegetables from the farm. Mom cooked delicious soup with the vegetables from the farm. We had or having warm bread. It was great. We had. Good night, Lucy. Very good. Now, let's check the answers. Excellent. Please pay attention to regular and irregular verbs. Can you name which verbs are regular and which are irregular? Very good. First, let's choose all the irregular verbs. Went. Again, went, had, got, sat, came, and had. And regular verbs are liked and cooked. Excellent! In this activity, you will practice the past simple tense and you will revise irregular verbs. 
Now, listen to the instructions, please. Complete the sentences. You have some time to read the sentences. Are you ready? Let's start. First sentence. I read War and Peace when I was 15. You should put the verb in the past simple tense. Is it a regular or irregular verb? Right. To read is an irregular verb and its past form is read. I read War and Peace when I was 15. Let's listen and check. I read War and Peace when I was 15. Very good. Next is a question. How to make a question in the past simple tense? First, you need to use... The auxiliary verb did. How did she? Break her leg. Let's listen and check. How did she break her leg? Very good. Next sentence. Is an example of a negative sentence. They didn't catch they didn't catch the 3 o'clock train. Let's listen and check. They didn't catch the 3 o'clock train. Very good. Next sentence. This coat cost a lot of money. Cost is an irregular verb. Let's listen and check. This coat cost a lot of money. Very good. And last sentence. The postman brought... These letters for you yesterday. Let's listen and check. The postman brought these letters for you yesterday. Very good. And let's check all the answers. Excellent. You did a good job today. You practiced listening and reading skills. And you also practiced the past simple tense. See you next time. Goodbye.